A local woman says that she just couldn't find loungewear that did three things. Was comfortable, looked good, and also fit real women's bodies. So you know what she did? She designed her own. And listen to this. She launched her new business just as the pandemic hit. The owner of Bra Lounger says that she found a way to push through knowing that her clothing line would be something that women wanted, solving a problem that wasn't being addressed. And now she's hoping that the trend to buy black and brown is going to help keep her afloat. With me now is Valerie Broughton. Valerie is the creator of Bra Lounger. Valerie, we are so excited to talk to you today. Uh, we have to start with the most basic question of all, the name. Why did you choose Bra Lounger? Because it's more than, I mean, you're, you're not selling bras. Exactly. So the name, I made the name up myself. It's not a name. I made it up and I trademarked it because I wanted to have loungewear that had a bra, soft cup, no underwire, soft cut bra element to it. So that's why I created my signature top that I'm wearing now. And that's on my website that has customizable breast support with no underwire. And because I wanted to have a loungewear line, I named it Bra Lounger because I was toying with the names with my daughter. Bra Loungewear doesn't sound right. So we, choose, we chose Bra Lounger. And it sounded great, so it stuck. And that's why it's called Bra Lounger, loungewear with the bra element to it. Yeah, it has a nice little flow to it. Now, what's amazing about this is that <clears throat> you started this as a lot of businesses were shutting down because of COVID. How on earth did you do that? First of all, the grace of God, number one, because I couldn't do it alone. Uh, the support of my husband, Barry, my friends, my daughters, um, and family, supported me the whole way. I had problems with my manufacturer um, on my first collection. I'm going on my third collection now, but the first collection manufacturer actually went out of business during COVID right after my launch. And I could have said, I'm not going to do it. I'll wait till the pandemic is over, but I decided to move forward and I did. I didn't let anything stop me. You just kept going. Now, we know this is the other thing is that it's difficult, as we all know, to start any business. But we've seen the research out there and it shows that it's even more difficult for black or brown owned businesses to succeed. Um, yeah. Have you hit a wall? Have you have you <clears throat> encountered that specific challenge in the last year? I've had so many challenges, um, too many to name right now. Um, being alone, being a woman, business is hard to get support, funding, everything is very difficult. And I didn't want to, I had so many setbacks. Uh, this is an eight year process. And most people don't know, I've been talking about doing this for eight years and it's been in my mind. And without the family support, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But it was, I mean, there's so much that can happen when you're trying to start a business. Um, so many things that you have to be aware of, you have to be strong, you have to be tenacious, you have to never quit. And, you know, when things don't go your way, which they most times do not, you have to keep going. And that's what I did. I didn't let anything, anything stop me. I didn't let the lack of support of people who I thought would support me. That's a real thing. I didn't let that stop me. And there's so many things that could stop you. But if you have a dream, I'm saying this to any woman out there, if you have a dream, trust God, get out of your own head. You know, I was in my own head for years saying, oh, you can't do this. How could you be a fashion designer? You can't sew. But, you know, you have to not listen to the noise and just follow your dreams. You definitely were persistent. Now, there's another thing that while you're talking to us, we're, we're also showing people pictures of some of the, the clothes that, that they can get from Bra Lounger. And what's interesting is that you won't recognize a lot of those people because they're actual people. And I love right. that because every step of the way you're using you're using real people. Just tell us about that, why that was so important to you. OK, um, honestly, um, I'm on the actual website as well. I'm the face of my brand. And honestly, I didn't want to be the face of my brand because I just didn't want to be out there like that. I'm a private person and people who know me know that about me. But um, I reached out to family and friends because I am on my own. I don't have a big budget, you know, like some companies have large budgets. I didn't have that. So I solicited my friends. You know, the website people you see are actually my friends on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I would say with the exception of one model that I hired because I wanted to more uh, professional look, but 
I don't think I'm going to go that route anymore because it's good for women to see real women in the clothing. I'm a real woman of a particular age. I have curves that I want to camouflage, as a lot of women do, and, and Bra Lounger does that for you. It camouflages your crucial areas, and it makes um, every woman feel like they you know, want to look, and that's important to me. I like that. Now, I also wanted to ask you about this. Obviously, there is a push to buy black and brown. Um, has that helped your business? And I know that you also have a message, right? Because it's very easy to go on Facebook and, and, and repost a, a meme that says buy black or brown. But you're saying put your money where your mouth is. You know, I support black businesses because that's something that I always did before it was a thing to do. A lot of people say that they support black businesses, but they really don't. Um, I did not let that stop me because my loungewear is not just for black women. It's for all women. It's for women of all ages, all colors, all demographics. It's for everyone because every woman wants to feel and look their best. And why not do that when you have a brand that allows you to have your loungewear be reimagined? You can wear it at home. You can lounge at home with it. You can wear it to Starbucks. If you're running errands, you can you know throw on your own clothing with it. It's designed to be that way for versatility and comfort. And it's for everyone. It's not just for black women. Now, just before we let you go, because we just have a few seconds left, we know that a portion of the profits from this business go to charity. Just tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I wanted to honor my mother's legacy. She was an entrepreneur herself, and I watched her grow up. I watched her when I was growing up um, with her own business and how she gave back to the community all the time. That's something that I wanted to do with, with this brand is to honor her legacy. And God gave me the vision to do it. And what I'm doing now is, well, what I've done from the beginning is every a portion of every sale of my bra laundry collection goes to reputable organizations that help people in need. And that's what is so exciting about the brand. That's what really gets me up in the morning and keeps me going with all the setbacks that I've had. Um, I'm able to help people in need, and that's more important to me than anything. And the first organization that we help because I, as you know, I launched it right at the beginning of the pandemic. We gave it to the Black Doctors Consortium. Um, right. And it was a blessing to know that we were able to help people to get vaccinated in the Philadelphia area. And we continue to support them to help people right. to save lives. And that's very important to our brand as well. And we can't wait to hear what you do next. Valerie Broughton, creator of Bra Lander, thank you so much for being with us today. Now, we should also thank add you, that we learned, <laughs> thank you, we learned about Valerie's business through her cousin, who happens to work here at NBC10. However, yes. they have no financial stake in the business and they don't profit from it in any way. Thank you so much. Thank you.